30 seconds. 30 seconds, we're rolling. It's the first time that the teams this season together as a group. So we um, like to kind of initiate them, so to speak. Just let them know what it's about to be at the Division One level, at the Big 12 level. Get your body up. <laughs> Ball above. Again. Come on. Five seconds. Come on. One more. You got one more. Come on, come on. Come, come on, on, get up. Come on. Nice. Good job. Good job. What it takes to persevere, um, you know, through game situations, through the physical stuff, the mental stuff that we're putting them through. Um, you know, just testing their, their mindset. And if you can get through that and come together as a team and unify and survive something like that, then yeah, it's a start, the first step to laying the foundation. Go, hit it run at the cone. Hit it run at the cone. It's a character builder, and it's been a great test. Um, and about 85, 90% of what you see in that, in those three days, is what you get as far as the way guys practice and the way guys attack the thing. Go get it, go get Flora. Run him down, run him down. He gave you a break how guys will compete, how guys will fight the drill and do the thing right is what you get. And I think it's been responsible for, uh, you know, maybe us winning some games. So that's important. Come on, Hank. Come on, Zach. Come on. Come on. Come on. It is a physical test, but it's, it's, a, lot more of a, um, it's a lot more of a mental test because, uh, you know, especially after day one, you're going, holy smoke, if you're a young guy, a new guy, you're going, I'm not sure I made it how I made it through day one, but I got to go get them all morning and we're stretching at six. So just the, how they respond to it, how they prepare mentally. Don't let him out push you. Come on, Blair. Come on. It's tough to get out here three days in a row and, you know, give everything your best effort, uh, especially when after that first day your body's hurt in the second and third day. And that's really when the mental aspect comes in. You just, you know, you've got to get through it somehow, just got to fight through it and push through it. So, I mean, it really, really does, of course, you're getting stronger, you're using your muscles, you're running, you're getting stronger physically, but I mean, more than that, it's really the mental part, just knowing you've got to find some way to get through it. You know, doing the right thing in a bad situation. You know, you're in a bad, uncomfortable situation, they're uncomfortable for every minute of that. And are you doing the right thing? Are you giving all you got? Or are you trying to find a way out to make it easier on you? If you're that guy, you're not mentally tough enough to get through it. And you're not mentally tough enough to, to go through the program and be here for very long. It's those guys that don't last. Get the Raiders on three. One, two, three. Raiders. I think that, you know, 80% of the deal is just getting out of bed in the morning. I mean, in any job you have, get up and show up and be fired up about being there, whatever you're doing. A boy, I right over that thing. Get up in there. A boy, you got a bonus throw. Nice job. You know, you got to show up. And, and that's the biggest thing is to say there's, you have responsibility to the group to show up, to be on time, to do things right. Keep working, Good. Keep working. Let's Good. go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Almost Five home. Five seconds. Hold it for five seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Back this way. Let's go. Let's go. Good. You know, sports and, you know, obviously for us it's baseball carry over into every aspect of your life. I mean, it's work ethic. It's, you know, being able to fight through tough situations and fighting through adversity and, that's the main thing. I mean, nothing's ever going to go right in life. So going through things like that, having to fight through and, you know, just being mentally tough. And like I said, fighting through adversity is something that will carry over for sure. You just have to take the things that are put in front of you and you have to just deal with them and make the best of that situation. You know, character builders, yeah, it's hard on your body. You feel terrible after and you're tired for weeks and you're sore and all that stuff. But when you look back on it, you feel accomplished and you feel proud of what you did and you feel proud about what your teammates did. So I think later on in life, that's always something you can look back on. And um, the guys you meet in college, those are going to be some of your best friends for the rest of your life. Those are going to be guys in your wedding and things like that. And so, I mean, you just got to look back on time and just, just be grateful for the opportunity and just take every day one day at a time and just be thankful for what you have. You know, as they get older, they'll understand that, you know, you have responsibility. You got to take care of your business. You may have to take care of your family and you got to take care of things. You know, I just think it's one of those things, you know, you're not always going to want to get up to go to work that morning, but it's just one of those things you have to do and you got to grind through it and just it'll pay off in the end. I do take a lot of pride in watching them get after it and you, you take a lot of pride in how far they've come when they do it again. Boy, get a bonus throw in here. Get another one. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, get another one. Come on, Shane. <laughs> nice. Boy, good job. Real good. There is a lot of that. And whether they grasp all that in one time, they don't. But if you can get them a little closer and baby step the thing, you, by the time they're jun sophomores and juniors, you got pretty good, uh, you've molded a pretty good beast to take care of business.